Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the video. First off, fair warning, I do have some allergies, so sorry if I sound a little bit dry or weird, but today we are ranking every single gun in Rainbow Six Siege. I just thought it would be kind of fun. I've done a tier list in the past, a long time ago, where I ranked every operator, so let me know in the comments if you would like me to do an updated version of that if you like this video. All right, we're just gonna go in order. I might clear the pistols first, actually. So let's start with the 5.7. The 5.7, I would probably put at, whoops. Okay, well, the 5.7 is F tier. Let's just go with that. I meant to get rid of the E and I accidentally deleted the whole gun. So 5.7, F tier. The 1911, F tier. These are just guns that you don't even really see being used. The 5.7 is a little bit better for the fire rate, but the 1911 is almost useless as far as I can tell. The GSH, as much as I love it, definitely gotta go into F tier. The PK, by far one of the best pistols in the game. As far as pistols go, this one is probably A tier. It's kinda hard to balance because it is a pistol. I don't wanna place it up with everything else, but as far as pistols goes, the PK is one of the best by far. This is Buck's pistol, I believe. Oh, also, I don't really know all the names to everything, so I'll just refer to them as the operator and then whoever's gun it is. So Buck's pistol, as far as pistols go, definitely up there. That one is really good. This pistol, I believe Nomad, Capiteo, Aruni, all have this pistol. Very good pistol. Actually, that one will also go B tier. As far as pistols go, we'll keep it B tier. The Bearing 9. Now, when Habana first came out, this would definitely be S tier, but with the new recoil update since then, it's probably A or B, maybe even C. I'll place it B because I like the secondary SMGs a lot. Speaking of, the SMG 12, A tier. Recoil's super tough, but if you can get it down, it, it shreds. The SMG 11, S tier for sure. By far the best secondary in the entire game. And now we are moving on to regular guns. So, for shotguns, Legion, Ying, and Nock all have this shotgun. It's really not that good. You never see anybody using it. F tier for sure. Ella's shotgun, definitely B tier. It's not really that viable, but in the right situation, it is the perfect spam shotgun. A ton of people will just sit in corners, wait for their Ella charge to go off, and then just peek around and melt anybody in the way. The AA-12, uh, now that it's a DMR, it's still just as terrible as it was before. I'm gonna keep that one in F tier. The shorty. F tier, uh, we'll move the shorty to D tier because it is useful to open hatches and whatnot. Same thing with Jackal's shotgun, Jackal and Mira, same shit. The CQB, as far as shotguns go, is slept on big time. This is the gun that Doc and Twitch and Lion and Rook, they all have it. The range is absolutely insane. That one's going to B tier. Jackal and Mira's shotgun, not slept on at all. Everybody knows that gun is terrible. So now I say we move to the DMRs. And I'll just start it with this one because it's where my mouse landed. Mavericks DMR, probably C tier. Nobody ever really uses it, so nobody really knows, but it's decent. It's a DMR. They're probably all gonna end up around here. They're just like, nobody uses them, but they're all like pretty good. There's just no point when you have crazy assault rifles like the F2. Speaking of the F2, the 417, I'll put it D tier. It's just another one of those ones. It's pretty hard. Nobody uses it. It's really powerful, but you have the F2 and might be a little bit more viable on Lion, but people are still just using the vector. I think that we are out of DMRs, so I will switch to LMGs now. And the 
first LMG that I'll go with is Maestro's LMG. Definitely B tier, only because it's on defense. This thing shreds on defense. It shredded even more before it was nerfed. Fantastic. Tachanka's LMG, probably C or D. I'll place it C because again, it's on defense. It's really powerful to open holes. It was a lot, and it's just a lot cooler now that you can actually walk around with it rather than having to place the turret. So it's good on Tachanka, but it's all it's an L, the lmgs in the game are not that impressive as far as these clunkier ones sophia's lmg also c tier personally i actually i'm gonna move this as far as lmgs go i might even put this i'll leave it at b tier but that LMG has, I think, 150 bullets, no recoil. If you guys just are not so confident in your shot, you just like laying down a lot of fire, Zofia's LMG for you by far. Fantastic. Now that LMGs are done, let's move on to SMGs. Starting with Frost's SMG, definitely A tier. It's powerful. There's not a lot of recoil. More or less, it's a type. It's pretty much a Type 100, more or less a carbine on defense, just like Jaeger's gun. Which now, after the nerfs, I'm gonna place A tier. Would have been S tier a long time ago, but it's been going through some rough patches. Still a great gun. It's still A tier for sure. The MP5 SD on Echo is is good. It's okay. It's suppressed, which is cool. Has an integrated barrel suppressor. Um, we'll leave it at C tier. I think that's fair. Vigil's SMG I will actually place as our second S tier. This gun is powerful, fast fire rate, no recoil, it's on Vigil. Vigil's a very powerful roamer. The gun is just overall really, really good on defense. And the MPX as well. The MPX I will put A tier. It, I would put it S tier, but it's kind of a pea shooter, but the high fire rate, low recoil really makes up for it. You can get this on Valkyrie or Warden. On Warden, you can put a bigger scope on it, so that's pretty fun. The FMG9, definitely F tier. It's okay on knock, on smoke, it's useless. It just it's okay it's not great the iron sights are terrible not that anybody's using those anyway it's also just an ugly gun ella's scorpion this gun when it first came out s tier for sure now with all the recoil nerfs and everything which is seems to be a trend for a lot of guns but c tier the mp5 on dock and rook i will put a tier with ACOG, this gun was S tier all day, but now Bandit's MP7, S tier. The gun sounds cool as hell. It looks cool as hell. It's on Bandit, who's super fast. It's a perfect roaming SMG. Zero even has it. It's really good on attack too. It's just an all around incredible SMG. Uh, Mira's Vector, probably A tier. The Vector is really fast. It takes people down super fast. I really like it. So Kavira's SMG as an SMG is absolutely terrible. There's no reason to even ever use a primary on Kavira. Her pistol downs people in two shots. The ump, where is it? Speaking of slow fire rates, the ump. The ump is going D tier. It's fun, it's bulky, but it sucks. So D tier it is. P90, F tier. One of the most fun SMGs, but there's really no place for it. I can't really remember the name of this gun, but this is Mozzie's little carbine. I'm gonna place that S tier. I love that gun. That I am being completely biased for because I love Mozzie's carbine. It sounds cool as fuck and it takes people down pretty quick. It's just really satisfying to use. Capcan and Tachanka's SMG. It's pretty good. It's not anything special. It's just an SMG. It shoots fast, has low recoil. C tier. It's where probably most of these guns are going to end up here in the last bits. Um, the little tiny SMG from Mozzie and Aruni. I don't really like it. I know a lot of other people do. I'm going to leave it C for that reason. The MP5K on mute. C tier. It's okay. Not really any reason to use it. So that's why it's going C tier, but it's pretty good. It's a fun SMG. What else do we have here? Jackal's SMG, also C tier. I'll move that one up to B tier, actually. That's a fun SMG on attack. Jackal's rifle, unfortunately, kind of dominates over it, but it's still a fun gun. Kaid's AUG. As far as SMGs go, probably D tier. Nothing about Kaid is really that impressive. He has a cool gadget, but his shotgun's been nerfed a bunch. His carbine's not really that great, but it'll go there. Lesion and Malusi's whatever this thing's called. S tier. It's like the MTAR. I don't know what it's called in Siege, but it has no recoil. It packs a punch. Really good. Everybody already knows that. So S tier, obviously. Alibi's SMG is fast. It has little recoil, but it is a pea shooter. It's like the MPX, but it sucks. So we're putting that C tier. 
All right, it looks like we are down to just assault rifles, and I'm going to start with Blackbeard's Scar because it is hot garbage going straight to F tier. Blackbeard shouldn't even be in the game. That's F tier. The L85, probably A tier. Really powerful assault rifle. Pretty good. Thatcher's assault rifle, C tier. Thermite's rifle is actually so good. That's going to S tier. I love Thermite's gun. I love Thermite. Big Beefy Girl's AUG is all right as far as assault rifles go it's going to be the first one we put into d tier because uh iq's aug is a little bit better now habana's assault rifle is going to go b tier solely because of the fire rate nomad's ak pretty useless but it's still oh it's pretty good because you know it's cool it's fun that'll go c but when there are guns like this one that nomad has s tier this gun has a very low ammo capacity with like 20 rounds, but it kills in two shots as an assault rifle. If you are not using this gun, there's something wrong with you. That is all I have to say. Use this AK. I can't remember the name of the other operator just because I'm, I'm sick right now. I'm blanking. I can't even remember half the operators in the game right now, but this gun is incredible. Sticking that right up there, S tier. This is Zero's gun. It's okay. It's not crazy has some weird attachments it's okay think a spear probably c tier and i think the new operator on defense actually has this as well so c tier it's pretty cool mavericks assault rifle also c tier none of, none of the rest of these guns are really going to go anywhere that crazy well maybe we'll see the commando i will place a tier the commando is just a classic since the beginning of the game the current f2 a tier before nerf S tier for sure, but right now the F2 is A tier. Super high fire rate, just a good gun. The G3, I will put B tier, just because it's not that great when you have guns like the R4C, but it is viable, it is cool. I like it, it's just gonna go B tier, I think that's respectable. Capiteo's assault rifle, C tier, it's nothing special. Lion's little vector, LMG, assault rifle thing, D tier. It's the same thing with Kai, uh, Capiteo's assault rifle. It's loud and bulky and wonky. And it just, it's not that great. It's nothing crazy. Nobody ever talks about it. D tier. Zofia's assault rifle, I will put right up here, S tier. That is the best assault rifle in the game, in my opinion. Jackal's assault rifle, A tier. I would put it S tier, but I don't know. I don't really use Jackal that much. I just, I just like the gun, so I'll put it A tier. Uh, Buck C8. I will also put A tier and as well as the R4C. They both just have really high fire rate. These are just my opinions. I've been playing the game for like six years. I've had enough playtime with all of them that I just know what I like. So this is what we've got to work with. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you want me to make another tier list. Let me know if you hated this video. Let me know if you loved this video. Let me know if you hate me. Let me know if you love me. Uh, subscribe. I'll have another video in a few days. I love you. Have a good day.